Hi guys, first thing you want to do is cut the end of the courgette off and then um, take it over to your spiralizer. If you don't know what a spiralizer is, it's a machine that allows you to cut it into um, different sizes and shapes, like what's on the screen now. Okay, so the next step what you want to do is get your sea bass, um, two fillets. So all I've done so far is rinse them underneath a cold tap and then I've abbed them with um, like a dry cloth and then and now you just all you got to do is season them. So the next thing you want to do is take your sea bass over to your pan, making sure the pan is hot, um, skin side down. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to put your garlic butter in your pan and letting that uh, melt away, um, skin side down with the sea bass, um, making sure that you always baste the sea bass so you're allowing the flavour to infuse inside the sea bass. Okay, once the skin is started to crisp up in, in the pan, um, all you can do now is put it in the oven for a further, say, 10 to 15 minutes, just so you can start to colour the sea bass. Um, whilst the sea bass is in the oven, you can go over to your plate, start um, putting your courgette noodles down on the plate and start decorating it. Okay, so by this time, you would have pulled out the sea bass out of the oven. Um, I, I laid my sea bass across each other like a cross. Okay, so the last thing I did was I got my balsamic glaze, I drizzled it across the plate to make it look more decorative. Um, I got a lemon slice, put it um, on the top, put a bit of height towards it as well so, it's, so it stands out. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to press the notification bell. 